Chemotherapy is a commonly used treatment method in oncology to fight cancer cells in the body. But how exactly does this treatment work, and what happens at the biochemical and chemical levels? Chemotherapeutics are drugs that target cancer cells. There are different types of chemotherapeutics that differ in their chemical structure and mechanism of action. Plant alkaloids. Plant alkaloids are a group of chemotherapeutics derived from plants that affect microtubule dynamics. An example of this is the vinca alkaloids, which include vincristine and vinblastin. These substances bind to tubulin, a component of microtubules, and prevent the polymerization of microtubules. This leads to the cessation of cell division in metaphase, as the meiotic spindle cannot be properly formed. Another example is taxanes, which bind to tubulin and prevent the depolymerization of microtubules. This also stops cell division, as microtubules are necessary for the separation of chromosomes during cell division. Antimetabolites. Antimetabolites are substances that disrupt the normal metabolism of the cell by infiltrating the synthesis of nucleic acids and proteins. An example of this is 5-fluorouracil, an antimetabolite that is incorporated into the synthesis of RNA and DNA, thereby preventing cell division. Topoisomerase inhibitors. Topoisomerase inhibitors are a class of chemotherapeutics that inhibit the topoisomerase enzymes responsible for unwinding and knotting DNA during replication and transcription. An example of this is etoposide, a topoisomerase 2 inhibitor that disrupts DNA replication and thus prevents cell division. Antibody therapy. Antibody therapy is a form of immunotherapy in which monoclonal antibodies are used against specific antigens on cancer cells. An example of this is trastuzumab, an antibody that targets the HER2 protein on breast cancer cells and inhibits the growth of cancer cells. But new drugs such as BioNTech's Fixvac also represent a new antibody therapy and could revolutionize cancer therapy in the near future. Unfortunately, the drugs cannot distinguish between cancer cells and healthy cells, leading to the typical side effects of chemotherapy, such as nausea, hair loss, and a weakened immune system. These side effects occur because chemotherapy also attacks healthy cells that divide rapidly, such as cells in hair follicles, the mouth, intestines, and bone marrow. However, there are also types of cancer where the cells do not divide particularly quickly. In these cases, chemotherapy can be less effective. It is important to note that cancer is a very heterogeneous group of diseases, and different types of cancer can vary greatly in their growth rates and response to chemotherapy, including the type of cancer, the genetic profile of the tumor cells, the patient's immune system, and other factors in the tumor microenvironment. Therefore, it is important that each cancer is considered and treated individually. If you don't want to miss further videos about interesting scientific topics, Subscribe to our channel and activate the bell to be notified when we publish new short videos. Thank you for watching.